رسول کریم اما آباد فاؤز بلّہ شیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان شاء اللہ ٹو ڈے وی گونو سی اباؤٹ دا امپورٹینس آف دعا اینڈ ہیئر ول سی دا آیا فسٹ فسٹ آیا از فرام سورت النمل اینڈ ہیئر اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ سے امن یو جی بمطور ازا دا ہو یکشی فسو ویج الکم خلف الارد الحم اللہ علی لما تزک کروں سو امن یو جی بمطور آر دا ون ہو ریسپانس ٹو اے ہیلپ لیس پرسن وین ہی پریز ٹو ہیم اینڈ ریموس ڈسٹریس اینڈ ہو میکس یو لائک خلیفہ اتھارٹی آف دا ارتھ از دیر اینی گاڈ الانگ ود اللہ نو بٹ لیٹل یو ہی ٹو ایڈوائز ہیئر وی سی ان سورت النمل آیا نمبر سکسٹی ٹو امن یو جیب مطور امن از ہو یو جیب از فرام جواب جیم وا با ہو آنسرز مطور مطور از فرام درر دواد را را درر از ایفلکشن یو نو یو آر گوئنگ تھرو اینی ایفلکشن سو درر یو ہیو ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اٹس فرام دواد را را اٹ کین بی فزیکل ایفلکشن لائک یو آر گوئنگ تھرو سکنیس اور اٹ کین بی یو نو فنانشیل پرابلم اور اینی ادر پرابلمس یو آر ڈسٹرب سو مچ لائک یو آر ان ڈیسپرنٹ نیڈ اینڈ یو آر ڈیسپرٹ ان نیڈ آف واٹ از اے دا آہو ڈیسپرٹ ان نیڈ آف دعا اینڈ یو آر آسکنگ and you are literally like you know you you don't have any option left and that's the only way out so that desperation just imagine asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what else is a da'ahu asking dua wa yakshifu yakshifu is from kashf kaf sheen fa kashf is you know unravel something or unveil something if you unveil something something was hidden now you can see And what is that? A su. Su here is, you know, evil. Any distress or anything. But wa yaj'alukum, it's from ja'ala. But what yaj'alu? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he made? Khulafa. Khulafa is from khalifa. So Allah ta'ala made authority or visregent. You know, has given some authority to khalifa. Al-ard. On where? On the earth. So here, even though we have given the authority, but when Su touches her, uh, us, who will remove it? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are asking. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A ilahumma Allah? Is there any ilah other than me? No, there is no. Only Allah can yakshifa. Only Allah can remove the distress. Qali lamma tazakkaroon. But Allah says, very little you do. thanks or you you take heed or advice tazakkarun is from zikr but here they are not doing actually not the zikr in sense here in sense advice or heed so here if we see this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying amman yujibu mutarra whenever you are in distress who is there you ask for we only ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is only one who can yakshifa and he can remove the so and he has made the authority to us he has given the uh, like you know khalifa on earth a ilaha ma allah so there is no other ilah only allah can remove the distress so we'll see few more ayas in ayah number uh, 41 surah al ahzab allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhal ladina amanu uzkuru allah zikran kaseera O you who believe, remember Allah abundantly. Ya ayuhal lazina amanu, O you who believe. Uzkuru is from zikr. You remember. To whom? Allah. How much you should remember? Zikran. Do zikr. And here zikran is nakira. Means do more zikr. Like you know, standing, sitting, doing zikr in after salah. So all sorts of zikr. Okay? Kaseera is more and more. So these are the solution Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving. Okay, you, we have stress in everything. What we should do? Do zikr. Means made dua. And in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah number 239, Allah says, فَإِنْ قِفْتُمْ فَرِجَالًا أَوْ رُكْبَانًا فَإِذَا آمِنْتُمْ فَاسْكُرُ اللَّهَ 
كما علمكم ما لم تكونوا تعلمون but if you are in fear then pray on the foot or riding but when you are in peace recite allah's name as he has taught you what you did not know fa in qiftum when you are in fear but when you are in fear fa rijalu aw rukbanan rijal means you are on the foot you are on walking or rukmanan you are mounted on the vehicle or you are riding on the cattle both way still fa iza amintum faskurullah but when you are in peace remember allah kama allamakum ma lam takunu ta'lamun how he has taught you what you did not know before that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned hafizu ala salati was salati al wusta wa qumu lillahi qanitin take due care of all the prayers and the middle prayer there it was mentioned middle prayer and that is asr and stand before allah in total devotion so here after that mention about qiftum so even though in the fear and you are walking or you are mounted on the vehicle still do the zikr of allah and fa iza amintum but when you are in peace kama allamakum ma lam takunu ta'lamun and recite allah's name he has taught you what you did not know so always remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter what and we learn from surah al maryam like um, when zakaria alayhi salam he asked he said in ayah number 4 um, rabbi inni wahna al azmu minni washta'ala ra'asu shayba wa lam akum bi du'aika rabbi shaqiya he said my lord i am not in state that bones in my body has turned feeble and the head has flayed up with gray gray hair old age and i never remain my lord and answered in my prayers to you if you see he was asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbi o oh my rab inni indeed i wahna al azmu he is saying you know now i am old my bones minni washta'ala ra'asu you know my bones are very feeble you know when you grow old obviously you, your bones become very feeble and ra's a shayban you know your hair will grow gray and that's what he was saying but what is the other part of the aya walam akum bi duaika walam and did not akun like you know i did not bi duaika bi dua rabbi shaqiya like you know i am not like you know shaqiya i am not despaired like he has completely faith on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so from this we learn the uh, you know etiquettes of the dua no matter what whether you are mudtarra you are in desperate in need yakshifa he removes you know whatever the so and also here we have seen complete faith on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walam akun bi duaika rabbi shaqiya don't be despair the key thing for the dua is you know your tawakkul and now now ramadan is coming up so inshallah in ramadan time we going to do small duas and we going to um, try to do dore quran in urdu and english and also regarding the Uh, Ramadan we going to do the different uh, etiquettes we learn and here this particularly we are learning about merits and importance of dua supplication so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah az-zariyat ayah number 56 wa ma qalaqtu al-jinna wal insa illa liya'budun and i created not the jinn and ma- mankind except that they should worship me illa liya buduni worship me allah is saying so here we should ask only allah subhanahu wa taala and allah subhanahu wa taala says and here um, this is in uh, san uh, sunan abu daud ad dua hu huwa al ibadah only three words <coughs> excuse me ad dua hu it's dua supplication huwa is ibadatuhu it's worship so whatever the dua you are doing it's a worship and many people i notice after you know fard prayer that is the time it's for the dua and they don't make dua ask allah subhanahu wa taala allah loves those who make dua those who ask 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 186, Wa iza sa'alaka ibadi, anni fa'inni qarib, ujibu dawata da'i iza da'an. Allah says, and when my servants ask you concerning me, indeed I am near. I respond to the invocation of the supplication when he calls upon me. You know, but is there sa'alaka? And when you ask, here sa'ala is asking. You know, for servants, it's like, you know, begging. What? Ibadi, my servant. Allah is giving the honor to us. Anni about me. So, fa'inni, so indeed, qareeb, it's from qaf raba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, when my servants ask about me, tell them, I'm very near. You know, Allah is how much near? Like near than jugular vein. If you test it, like, you know, if you put your hand on the neck, jugular vein, you could feel it. That much close, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, I'm so much close. And what else it's saying? Ujibu, it's from Jawab. Ujibu, what? Dawat, dua. He's answering the dua. Adai is a daan. When, like you know, person ask about me, I answer the dua. And many mufassir says, when you know Allah ask and answer dua, it's like asking and giving you, like you know. When two persons are talking to each other, then when one is asking and other is giving, it's like between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is answering you and giving it. And here we learn that we should ask only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there are few etiquettes of uh, dua, supplication. First of all, niya, sincerity. Check your niya. Make intention with sincerity. Now Ramadan is also coming. That's a training period. Now only inshallah will start. Because you know that's how a Muslim will be. That's how a Mormon will be. And sincerity and concentration. You know when you want to ask something. Don't you want to have sincerity and concentration? Yes. And be begin supplication with praise and glorification of Allah. Like, you know, asking with Asma'ul Husna. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman. You know, with the different names, 99 attributes. Then, send peace and blessing on Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin. You know, you can recite Durud Ibrahim. Or you can recite short durood. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Then supplicate, make dua with sincerity, with certainty. You know how Zakaria al-Islam made the dua with certainty. How Ibrahim al-Islam. And we learn from all our prophets and especially our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So ask with certainty of the acceptance of the dua. You know in this context... Uh, uh, there was a hadith when you know they asked for the water to you know to have rain and they were carrying the umbrella because they said when it's gonna rain we are gonna take the umbrella out so what about us when we are asking with certainty have faith on Allah Allah will answer your duas if it is not answer it will be answer in the hereafter and if it is not answer what else you will be saved from different calamities. And you don't know what is qair for you. Allah knows. He loves you more than 70 mothers. So we see only one mother here. How much she loves us. Right? Isn't it? So just imagine 70 more times. And pay gratitude. You know, be humble. Acknowledge your blessings. You know, acknowledge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Sahaba, even when they have the morsel of food, they were so thankful. They were doing the shukr. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are so thankful to have this water. We have, we have this uh, dates. So be thankful. Acknowledge in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether you eat, when you, whether you dress up, whether you, you are using nice vehicle or whether you are using nice home. Be thankful and do not do shirk. Do not do shirk, whether any other deity or idol or anyone. No shirk at all. 
shirk is zulmun azim so no shirk and shirk is a kabira sin you know everything allah will forgive but shirk you have to ask forgiveness before your death and you have to amend your things and asking forgiveness and making the way only for the islamic monotheism that is qul huwa allah wa only one allah and after that seeking forgiveness you know asking astaghfirullah it doesn't mean you know you are saying astaghfirullah and your eyes are here and there and you don't even understand what you are saying no say with complete concentration you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me it's just not you know asking forgiveness once rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to ask more than 70 times so why don't we ask astaghfirullah before ramadan start make the habit of doing astaghfirullah there are different kind of istighfar inshallah i'll let you know like what are the different ty- types of istighfar in some other time but right now we're going to do what are the different ways we can ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what are the etiquettes of asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala isn't it when we want our dua to be accepted what is the way what is the sunna way isn't it we should follow the sunna way so the time of acceptance of dua we all know it's just a reminder for everyone at the time of tahajjud so just make use of that make the habit of waking up in the tahajjud now ramadan is approaching right now make your habit so that whole of ramadan you will be awake in the tahajjud time allah will answer your duas and at the ta- at the end of fard prayer after every fard prayer just make dua don't be hasty don't be like you know you without doing zikr and you are getting up and i know life is very busy but we have to take out time we have learned in surah az-zariyat what is the purpose of the life to make dua to do ibadah between the aza and iqama you know azan is going on and before iqama you can make dua and there is a specific time on juma friday make dua on juma friday and in the state of sujood prostration and at the time of suhoor and while you're fasting make dua a lot of dua and in the odd nights of ramadan we don't know when is laylatul qadr make use of all the nights especially last 10 nights we don't know when is the odd night and while fasting and also when you be break the fast that time before the breaking the fast especially ladies they spend most of the time in kitchen even though if you are in kitchen do the zikr and make dua with the concentration and complete certainty and also after recitation of the quran you know daily we do recitation fajr like depends on you when you are doing it and when you do recitation after that make dua allah will answer your dua while you are traveling doesn't matter we are traveling for hour or for many hours so make dua and at the time of the arafat you know when you go to hajj and you are in the arafa and then make dua that is the like you know time make use of it while drinking zamzam when you drink zamzam make dua with certainty allah will answer and everybody is home we have zamzam there is no such home that we say we don't have we alhamdulillah and you know what you can do you can dilute that zamzam and keep and use keep using it until you get one more and then again add to it and keep using it allah will keep barka and make dua drink lot of lot of zamzam and you can put on your face and you know you feel so nice and in the battlefield so battlefield when it is raining so when it's raining ask, ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so these are the etiquettes of dua so please make use of it and make dua with certainty and make dua only for the things which allah has said to do not the things like you know which allah has forbidden like in the jealousy and for the bad of someone and something no if you do that allah gets angry you know hasad will burn your good deeds as if you are burning the fire like you know how the wooden is consuming the fire the same way good deeds will be consumed 
सो वी शुड ओनली मेक दुआ वॉट अल्लाह हैज आस कस्ट नॉट अगेंस्ट यू नो कुरान एंड सुन्ना जजाक अल्लाह खैर कसीरा सुबहान कल्लाम बिहमदिका नशद्ला नस्तक फ़िर नस्तक फ़िर